Hello everyone, welcome to English with Miss Tia. In this video, we are going to learn future continuous tense. Dalam video pembelajaran sebelumnya, kita sudah belajar tentang present continuous dan past continuous. And in this video, we are going to learn future continuous tense. To make it clearer, now let us see the examples of future continuous tense in the following dialogue. Brian, can you help me to understand materials in math lesson? Of course. Let's study math together. That's a great idea. When can we do it? Just come to my house today. Okay, what time? I will be having English course at 3 p.m. until a half past 4. So you can come after that. Okay, can I come to your house at 7? I will be having dinner with my family at 6.30 until 7.30. It's better for you to come before that. What about 5 p.m.? Okay, I'll be having free time at 5. That's great. See you this evening. See you. Dalam dialog tadi, kedua anak ini sedang bercakap-cakap tentang rencana mereka belajar matematika bersama. The boy said, I will be having English course at 3 p.m. until 4.30. And his friend asked, can I come to your house at 7? The boy answered, I will be having a dinner with my family at 6.30 until 7.30. His friend then asked, what about 5 p.m.? He finally said, I'll be having free time at 5. Dalam dialog ini kita melihat bahwa si anak pertama menyatakan beberapa kegiatannya dari jam 3 sampai setengah 5, dari jam setengah 7 sampai setengah 8, dan dia mengatakan, aku akan ada waktu luang jam 5. All the sentences that the boy on the right side said are examples of future continuous tense. Beberapa kalimat yang disebutkan oleh anak yang di sebelah kanan merupakan contoh dari penggunaan future continuous tense. Do you see the similarities between the three of them? Kira-kira apa ya persamaan antara ketiga kalimat yang dipakai si anak di sebelah kanan? Future continuous tense. Dalam dialog tadi, anak laki tersebut menggunakan beberapa contoh kalimat dengan pola future continuous tense. The boy said, I will be having English course at 3 p.m. until 4.30. Aku akan sedang mengikuti les bahasa Inggris dari jam 3 sampai setengah 5. I will be having dinner with my family at 6.30 until 7.30. Aku akan sedang makan malam dengan keluargaku dari jam setengah tujuh sampai setengah delapan. I'll be having free time at five. Aku akan sedang mempunyai waktu luang jam lima sore. Do you see the similarities between three of these sentences? Apa persamaannya dari ketiga kalimat di atas? They consist of positive sentences. It start with subject. Followed by will, be, and verb in. Semua kalimat positif di atas diawali dengan subject, kemudian will be diikuti dengan verb in, having. To make positive sentences in future continuous tense, there are two ways to do it. The first, we use the complete sentences. For example, you can say, I will be having English course. You will be eating dinner. He will be taking free time. She will be driving. It will be drinking. We will be thinking about it. You will be learning math. They will be washing some clothes. Pola kalimatnya selalu sama. Subject diikuti dengan will be, diikuti dengan verb in. Apapun subjeknya, pola kalimatnya tetap sama. And the second one, we call it as contractions form, bentuk singkat. I will be akan menjadi, I'll be having English course. You'll be eating dinner. He'll be taking free time. She'll be driving. It'll be drinking. We'll be thinking about it. You'll be learning math. 
they'll be washing some clothes. Bentuk singkat dari I will menjadi I'll, begitu seterusnya untuk semua subjek. Now we move to the negative sentences of future continuous tense. Now let us see the following example. I will not be learning English at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Aku tidak akan sedang belajar bahasa Inggris jam 8 besok pagi. You won't be meeting me next month. Kamu tidak akan sedang rapat denganku bulan depan. She will not be riding a bike this time tomorrow. Dia tidak akan sedang naik sepeda pada waktu seperti ini besok. They won't be playing online games at 10 next Sunday. Mereka tidak akan sedang bermain game online jam 10 besok minggu. From all the examples, here we can see they are all using the same pattern. Pola yang sama dari semua kalimat negatif yang ada di contoh ini. It consists of subject, followed by will not, followed by be, followed by verb in. Inilah pola kalimat negatif untuk membuat future continuous tense. Kata will not bisa disingkat menjadi won't. Subject won't be followed by verb in. Next, we will move to how to make questions in future continuous tense. Pola kalimatnya hanya tinggal dirubah. Subject ditekar dengan will, sehingga pola kalimatnya menjadi will followed by subject, followed by be, followed by verb in. Don't forget the question mark at the end of the sentence. Let's see the example. Will I be driving by this time tomorrow? Apakah aku akan sedang menyetir pada saat seperti ini besok? Will you be learning English at 8 next Monday? Apakah kamu akan sedang belajar bahasa Inggris jam 8 besok Senin? Will he be riding a bike by this time tomorrow? Apakah dia akan sedang naik sepeda pada saat seperti ini besok? When I arrive tomorrow, will they be playing a kite? Ketika aku tiba besok, apakah mereka sedang bermain layang-layang? Di sini menanyakan kegiatan yang sedang terjadi namun pada waktu tertentu di masa depan. Next, what will she be doing when I visit her next week? Apa yang sedang dia lakukan ketika aku mengunjungi dia minggu depan? Where will she be joining English course? Di mana dia akan bergabung dalam kursus bahasa Inggris. The last two questions are WH question. Untuk kedua kalimat yang terakhir menggunakan kata tanya. Sehingga pola kalimatnya menjadi question word, followed by will, followed by subject, followed by be, followed by verb in. Tinggal tambahkan kata tanya di awal kalimat. Now we will talk about the use of future continuous tense. When do we use future continuous tense? Seperti namanya, continuous yang berarti sedang berlangsung atau sedang terjadi. So the first function of future continuous tense is to talk about a continuous action in the future. Untuk menyatakan kegiatan yang berkelanjutan di masa depan. For example, I will be having English course at 3 until 4.30 p.m. Kegiatan belajar bahasa Inggris sedang berlangsung jam 3 sampai jam 4.30 nanti. I will be having dinner with my family at 6.30 until 7.30. Second, future continuous tense is to talk about action that will be in progress at a specific time in the future. Untuk kegiatan yang sedang berlangsung di satu waktu tertentu di masa depan. For example, I will be having free time at 5. Jam 5 nanti aku sedang bersantai atau aku sedang ada waktu luang. Sedang berlangsung tapi pada satu waktu tertentu di masa yang akan datang. Third, it is used to talk about making guesses about the future. Untuk mengungkapkan prediksi tentang sesuatu yang akan terjadi di masa depan. For example, I'm sure the sun will be shining in California next week. It's always sunny there. 
Aku yakin matahari sedang akan bersinar di California minggu depan. To make it clearer, you can do some exercises in the following link. You can open the link that I give you in this video to help you understand better about future continuous tense. This is the end of our video about future continuous tense. If you have any questions, please write in the comment. Thank you and see you on the next video.